Apple Watch Series 3 4K subscriber giveaway get subscribed let's do it hey guys what is going on what is going on it is Christmas Day and I have a surprise for my wife that I've been waiting to give to her for a few days so what you're gonna see me give her in a minute I actually purchased on Friday so it's been sitting out to my parents house for a few days now and I actually just got the picked up the winter tires and rims and put them on hence the flannel and now I'm just dropping off the summer rims at my storage unit and then we're gonna go home and we're gonna surprise my wife with the biggest gift that I've ever given anybody and probably ever will give anybody I don't see it getting any bigger than this um, we're in it right now so there's a spoiler alert but uh, uh, yeah I'm gonna throw these tires in here and then we're gonna hit we're gonna get on the road and I'll, I'll sort of tell you about the reasons why I did this and you know whatnot all right tires are in the storage unit so I'm sure some of you guys have already guessed uh, what this is and uh, you know rightly so if you've been paying attention in a few videos uh, you may have seen something or you may have just guessed you know what it is so the reason why alright so my wife's daily driver is a 2010 Honda Civic two-door coupe a month and a half or so ago we had some really bad weather like really bad weather uh, the first sort of snow of the year and it was snow it was ice underneath it was it was bad like it was bad there was vehicles off the road absolutely everywhere and my wife's car um, wouldn't start one morning she may have left her lights on or something we're still not sure but her car wouldn't start so she she said hey can I take the Tundra I said yeah absolutely I had the uh, 250 because I had the plow on the front of it and so of course I was going up to go plowing and the other truck the 350 was away for work and that was the 09 350 so that was even dirty like that was a full-blown work truck so I didn't really want to put her in that anyway but that wasn't even an option so she took the Tundra and the Tundra had had been having some issues with speed sensors ABS sensors whatever you want to call them and it affected you know your ABX uh, ABS traction traction control um, the VHC all that sort of stuff that's what it affected so it just wasn't, it just, it would just let the truck spin. It wasn't engaging. And like lights were flashing, four high, four low and stuff was all flashing the dash. But the four wheel drive always worked. It was never a problem. So my wife took that truck to work. I took it and I warmed it up for her and I went down and put fuel into it for her and, she, and away she went. <clears throat> I got a phone call about 20 minutes later and she was, she was, uh, you know, upset and she was very, she was, she was scared she was extremely scared for some reason the four-wheel drive in the truck stopped working so now she's in a two-wheel drive truck with no weight in the back end whatsoever and she is sliding all over the place she can't stop she can't start she's in bumper to bumper traffic you can imagine um, going into Halifax first thing in the morning trying to get across the bridge to Dartmouth so it's bumper to bumper in the it the four-wheel drive stops so she has no four-wheel drive whatsoever two-wheel drive truck no weight in the back useless absolutely useless you might as well be driving a, a, a lawnmower you'd have better traction so anyway I had to go in I said pull over as, as soon as you possibly can I'll come in with the 250 and I'll pick you up and when I got in with the 250 she didn't even want to drive a truck she and she's driven trucks a lot in the last couple years since we've since we've since we've bought trucks and owned the business and she loves them she loves them she loves the room She's a small girl, but it doesn't it doesn't affect her at all. She drives the trucks great. She uses her mirrors really well, and she doesn't feel overwhelmed at all. She didn't want to. She didn't want to drive a four-wheel drive truck. No, 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 no. So anyway, I finally sort of coached her enough, and she jumped in the truck, and the 250, and away she went. I took the Tundra, and a couple times on the way home, the four-wheel drive kicked up. So it wasn't just her. There was something going on with the four-wheel drive. So when she got home, you know, she calmed down a bit, and I just said, all right, listen, like, I didn't say it to her, obviously. I said, that's enough. You know, you're driving a two-door a, a two car, 
two-wheel drive Honda Civic you know I've got these trucks you know so I'm good and we don't have any kids yet but kids are definitely in the future and we have two large dogs so you know if you have two large dogs and you want to go pack up and go away for the weekend and you have a kid right now the trucks are great you open up you fold the seats up and you got tons of room back there for the dogs like absolutely tons of room for the dogs but you put a baby seat in there and all of a sudden now you don't have that room anymore so we had to have an SUV we had to have an SUV so yes this is an SUV and there's always been one SUV that stood out in my mind and she's mentioned it a bunch of times too and it's what I'm in right now so I just said that's it I want I want her to be safe so I'm doing it and when it comes to finances and stuff my wife takes the lead she takes the lead she is that's sort of her trade too that's her job so like whenever I buy anything for work you know like I just bought that new 350 whenever I buy anything for work you know I got to do a cost analysis to make sure that it makes sense put it on paper put it in front of her she's the numbers girl looks at the numbers if it makes sense then right on if it doesn't, then it doesn't. It's just not a go out and buy and deal with it later type of thing. Everything is thought out the way that it should be. Well, I thought this out, I thought this through, and I'm doing it, and it is what it is. I want my family to be in something extremely, extremely safe. And I just bought really good winter tires and rims for this too, so now I can put her in this vehicle, and I know that the vehicle is not gonna be at fault. It's a great vehicle, very highly recommended, Anyway, we're getting ready to pull into my yard. My heart is absolutely pounding, if you can imagine. I think, honestly, she's going to be happy, but she's going to be upset, too. I think she's going to be mad, because it's a lot of money, and I didn't consult her with it. But it is what it is. It's, it's a Christmas surprise. So we're just getting ready to pull into the yard now, and I don't even know if she's going to let me videotape this because she hasn't been on any videos yet. She's hinted a few times that she might she might allow me to start putting her in some videos and stuff like teaching her how to plow and teaching her how to back up trailers and all that sort of stuff, that fun stuff. But I called her before I left and and I told her I told her she needs to go in the spare room and look for something for me and the paperwork. So that's on the other side of the house. So there's no way she's going to be looking out when I pull in here. But I'm nervous. I'm so nervous right now. Um, you can hear my voice breaking up. But anyway, we're, we're, we're pulling in, we're backing up, and I'm gonna go in and tell her to come on out. And I wish that I could have, I wish that I could have washed this because it is a bit dirty from driving from my parents to here. But it's minus 10 outside today, and everything would just freeze. And that wouldn't be good. So she's gonna get a dirty surprise, <laughs> I guess. But anyway, it is what it is, guys. Wish me luck, holy shit, wish me luck. All right, guys, the day is here. Finally unveil one of the new items for the channel. It's a cold, cold, frosty day here, with minus 10. Hold up to this video. Bought my wife a brand new vehicle vehicle you know that much for Christmas not necessarily for Christmas it just happened to be on Christmas and her reaction was what I thought she was happy and mad all at the same time and then really happy and now she's extremely happy with the vehicle that I chose and so far she's been driving it every day to work she's been she's been loving it I'll tell you that much right now she's been loving it it's uh it was a pretty exciting day very nerve-wracking you know early Christmas morning but I've been trying to convince her <laughs> to let me use the footage for two weeks or so you know early Christmas morning no makeup on you know all that sort of stuff I edited it a couple times hoping that she would say yeah go ahead but uh, anyway she she didn't really want me to put the video out her first sort of YouTube um, reveal and wearing sweatpants and a sweat top and no makeup hair all over the place
place and stuff like that. So not gonna have that footage, but there definitely will be footage of her, you know, driving this vehicle and everything like that. So, but without further ado, here is the, the newest addition to the channel. So there it is. I know a few of you guys have guessed what it was because I didn't do a very good job hiding it in a couple of videos. But it's a 2019 Toyota 4Runner Limited. It is the magnetic gray. I just washed it this morning because everything is a chunk of salt, which you can see. My 250 has not, my 350 has not been washed for a few days and it's just a chunk of salt. So I did wash it, but it didn't do a great job. But I had to at least watch it, wash it in order to, you know, reveal it to you guys. So it has the winter rims on right now. I'll put up some pictures of the vehicle with the stock wheels right now. the day that I bought it. All right, so like I said, it is the Limited. So it's, you know, leather interior, moonroof, um, heated cooled seats, you know, top of the line, all the sort of fancy options that you can get. I was bouncing back, with, back and forth between the Limited and the off-road. And if it was my personal vehicle, I would have bought the off-road because I love all the sort of off-road capabilities that it comes with um, you know all the crawl controls and and locking locking diffs and all that sort of stuff I, but for her and for our family vehicle going ahead this is what I got and I'm very happy with it so far so I'm not gonna go into too much uh, too much depth in this video of all the features that it has and you know all that sort of stuff that's gonna be for a later video like a a review and drive sort of video. I did record, um, you know, first drive impressions when I drove it home because where I picked it up, I actually had like a three hour drive. So I got a good feel for, for how it drives. And I was uh, really impressed with how it handles. Um, it has enough power, not a, not a huge, huge amount of power, but definitely enough power. You know, this is the last sort of remaining true SUV. And what I mean by that is body on frame, truck frame. So this is one of the last, maybe even the last, I know sort of the the last one that was hanging on with it was the Pathfinder and the Pathfinder now has gone to unibody. So anyway, I'll show you the interior quickly. You know, nice leather interior. Not a big screen. You know, the sort of interior in this vehicle is an older vehicle. You know, not a huge screen here doesn't have a lot of sort of the fancy luxury features that you can get in other SUVs that like Ford and and uh, you know all the other big manufacturers offer even Toyota the RAV4 um, offers a lot more sort of safety features and just updated features compared to this one it's an older vehicle but it's a complete bulletproof powertrain and it's just it's exactly what we need for a few reasons so that's sort of just the the interior there all kinds of storage tons of storage everywhere so that was a big thing too um, very comfortable we've had it in one sort of snow situation and it did great these are Bridgestone Blizzak so I'll, I will obviously do a review on these for sure separate um, here's the back seat the back seat sitting seat, seat position is a bit high um, you do lose a bit of headroom because this does have the moonroof but you're able to tilt these seats back which is really nice. That's pretty cool. Obviously cup holders here, your armrest folds down. But like I said, guys, it's just gonna be a sort of a quick, a quick reveal of the vehicle. There'll be tons of, uh, obviously tons of more content coming on this guy. Um, I do have some things already bought for it to go in it or on it. Don't have, uh, but on, uh, yeah. But I'm gonna wait till, you know, later on to show you those as well, of course. So you know why why a forerunner? Well, to be honest, the big reason was its 
the big reason was its capability um, in snow, off-road, all situations, the interior space. And as you know, I have two large dogs. I have two Great Pyrenees, which are very big. And here's the main reason right here. The cargo area is the biggest cargo area in a two row SUV that I can find. And I've always, I've always wanted one of these and my wife always wanted one of these. And it just so happens that there's a ton of room back here. So we can actually, we can actually have, you know, five people potentially in the vehicle or ourselves and, you know, a baby seat sometimes, sometime down the road, all that sort of stuff and both dogs laying back here. There is enough room for both dogs back here. That's sort of the downfall of the truck is once you put the seats up and the dogs are in there, which gives them tons of room, then you only really have a two seat truck. Whereas this, this will be our family vehicle. So that is the main reason why I went with the 4Runner. And we do plan on keeping it for a while. And you know, Toyota, 4Runner, Tundra, and Tacoma have the highest resale value of any vehicle in North America. So that also helps. But anyway, fellas, there it is. There will be loads of content, obviously, to come on this vehicle. I know uh, a lot of people out there are wondering, you know, are these vehicles still, are still a contender? Is it, you know, because it is older sort of body, body you know frame um, body type older sort of interior is it still relevant in the market and I've driven a few SUVs and I'm, I love it this thing drives so nice so smooth it handles well people talk about body roll and sort of um, brake dive and stuff I don't notice hardly any nose dive on this on this vehicle whatsoever just my initial drive it's got about 2,000 kilometers on it now so about 1200 miles and we're just in love with it so far but uh yeah hey guys so there it is i know a lot of you guys or a few of you guys you know seen it in the videos and you guessed what it was and you 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 actually kept it pretty hush hush thank you for that but here is the vehicle that you will be seeing lots more content on um we'll be doing you know reviews with the wife driving it obviously you know five ten thousand twenty thousand thirty thousand reviews reviews on the tires I do have some stuff inside that are going in this thing already. There's more stuff to come. I'm working on a few things. And uh, yeah, this is one of the two things that I was yet to reveal. The next thing is coming and it's pretty cool. I kind of consider this a little bit part of play. The next thing is serious play. So we got lots of work going on. We got some play started, more play to come, lots more play to come. But anyway, fellas, as always, if you like the video, hit the subscribe button, hit the like button, hit the little bell so you know I got lots more videos coming out. And uh, you know what, being playoff Sunday, go Pats, baby. Go Pats, baby. Brady, bring her home, man. Bring her home again. All right, guys, thanks for watching. Take care. See you later.